All right, so it is ministry time right here on Retro Rock Live. Hopefully you're all enjoying Instrumental Night right here on Retro Rock Live. An outreach ministry of Church on the Rock. We're on Facebook Live, live stream, and on WMCR, The Wave, the new FM 101.1. So again, this is entitled A Cry from the Heart, and uh, we're talking about uh, the, the, the cry that we all need to have and uh, you know, calling out to God and to the Lord in our life. God's merciful love is always revealed in response when we give a cry from the heart, when, when we actually are calling out to God and we legitimately are asking him out of our heart for his help, for his help. It says in the word to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. I think it's very important that the first thing that is mentioned in that verse is that to love the Lord with all your heart. The Bible has a lot of, to say about the humble cry for deliverance. It says in Psalm 6, 18, verse 6 in the New King James Version, In my distress I called upon the Lord, I cried out to my God, and he heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. And then in Psalm 106, 43 and 44, it says, Many times he delivered them. But they rebelled in their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affection when he heard their cry. So what was the thing that he heard? Despite them rebelling, despite their struggles, he still heard their cry. It says in Psalm 106, a cry to God will always be answered. No one is too wicked or too hopeless to reach out to God. And, uh, and, you know, in, in humbly seeking God with their heart. So it brings us to the story of King, uh, let's see, uh, hopefully I can say this right, Manasseh, one of the most wicked kings of all in all of Israel, he, where he proved it. He raised up, when, during his time as king, he raised up altars to Baal. He made a woman, a, a wooden image. He made his son pass through the fire, practicing saying, using witchcraft and consulted spirits and mediums. He did much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. And uh, you can read about this in 2 Kings 21. Um, so Manasseh seduced Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to do more than evil than the nations whom the Lord had destroyed before the children of Israel. It says in 2 Chronicles 33 verse 9 and 10. It, is there hope for for someone like this who is far from God, so possessed by evil and darkness? Yes, even Manasseh ended up ended up a prisoner in a foreign nation, bound with chains. In his affliction, he cried out to God and heard him, forgave him and restored him. Another guy you can think of. What about Paul, who crucified Christians, who had Christians killed? He, God can currently change the heart of Paul and turned him around on the road to Damascus. And Paul became, did a whole 180 and became a huge disciple of the Lord Jesus. Um, but again here, so we get that. So the word, so there's, 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 there's hope for all of us. No matter how far we've slidden, no matter how far we think we might have backsliding, there's always hope for us. This word of hope, forgiveness, mercy, love, and restoration is for all of us. If we can hear God's word, repent, it says in 1 John 1, 9, when we confess our sins, that God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's great news, everybody. We can repent and be made whole and walk again with God, no matter how far We've fallen out the boat. Just as Peter fell from the boat when he was walking on water, he put his eyes on the distractions of the world, and he saw, which were the waves and winds at the time, and fell in the water. God pulled him back up. He can do the same for us. There's no sin or nothing that we can do that cannot be forgiven when we ask God for it. We are never too far gone or too far down to be headed and re restored. Amen. So let's just pray here and we'll continue with the last few, the last song or two of the night. Father, thank you, Lord, for helping us to know, Lord, that we can cry out to you whenever we need to, Lord. And, and thank you, Lord, for just 
delivering us, Father, from whatever we need to be delivered for. Help us, Father, forgive ourselves as it says that there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for forgiving us and setting us free by the love of Jesus Christ. In your precious name, amen. So that is the cry of the heart. Make sure you give it up to God. If you're struggling with something, give it up to God. Cry out to God, and he wants to change you. Without further ado, let's play that song by Michael W. Smith. It is an instrumental. And just as you hear this piano part, this beautiful piano part, just reflect on how much God loves us. Reflect on God's grace despite how many times we mess up over and over and over again, that despite that, God still loves us anyway. And uh, praise be to God for that. Michael W. Smith, in the meantime, with Cry from the Heart, right here on Retro Rock Live. 